Hey, what's up everybody? Red Lion here and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. In the last episode, we rescued the pirate captain Tetra, only for our sister to be kidnapped and stolen away in her stead. And in this episode, we are going to go do our best to rescue her. Wow, that's a decrepit old shield. Are you sure that thing... Are, are you sure you can still use that thing? Are you... Are you... Oh my god. Are you going to get splinters and cry? Well, whatever. If you're ready, then let's go. I cannot read. And yes, I am ready. Good luck, Link! Good luck finding Arrow! Take care of yourself! Uh, how much longer is this going to go on, do you think? Do you have an estimate? Are you sure you shouldn't just quit right now? Seriously, think about it. I can tell you're just going to get more sentimental from here on out. There's still time, you know. Are you sure we shouldn't just turn around and take you back to your island? Oh, I love that scene so much. Link, listen kid, you can't just stand around on deck. You'll get in everyone's way. I told Nico to, Nico to look after you, so you better go report below decks and ask him what you should be doing. We could do that, or we could just annoy everybody, because we're a visitor little kid. Into the big blue, boys! Turn the ship full to starboard! We head for the northern seas! Listen, shrimp, if you're really you're really creeping me out standing there like that, so quit it, yeah? Stay out of my way, way out of my way. Go down below and find Nico. Jeez, fine. You're not Nico. Hmm, that Nico didn't make out half bad, with you being the new swabby and all. New swabbies always get stuck doing the hardest work. It's a real raw deal, but hey. You uh I'll tell you, it sure sounds like Nico is happy to finally not be the bottom rung on the pirate ladder. You bet he is. Hey, but don't sweat it. I'm sure you'll do just fine, so long as you don't disobey him. Ugh, I can't say Nico properly. It's I keep saying Niku. That's not how you pronounce that. His shirt is way too short. So, your name's Link, right? Hey, hey, hey. That one weird get- Ah, that's one weird get-up you got on there. So what's the deal? Is that popular back on your island, or what? Now that I think about it, though, I think I've seen an outfit like that somewhere before. Hmm, I wonder what he could be talking about. Alright, let's go below deck. Stop annoying everybody. What do you have to say? Stop right there! This is Miss Tetra's cabin. Most of us real pirates aren't even allowed in here. There's no way we're letting an outsider in. Don't you even think it. Okay, well, I can't break and enter again, but that's all- that's my favorite hobby, though. I'll just break their pots instead and steal- uh... That's actually probably a really dumb idea, stealing from pirates, even if it is only four rupees. You never know how angry they could get. Oh, well now, ahoy there, Swabby. As of today, ahem, I am your superior, Nico. Now, I promise I'll go easy on you, so you do as I say, okay? Right now, right. Now, first off, you have to take the test all new pirates have to take. It's a bit of a doozy, so get ready. You watch everything I'm about to show you real careful like, so you can cram it into your no doubt mushy swabby brain. First off, you gotta press this switch. This is the only easy part. Just walk up to it and tilt L to step on it. Presto, switch pressed. Yes, Nico, I know how to step on things, thanks. Now, check it out. After the platforms rise up from the floor, you gotta jump on them. Uh, 
Okay, so I was able to jump to this first one myself. But that next one is too far, right? That's when you gotta do this! If you jump right at the rope, you can grab onto it and use L to swing. Swing until you get close enough to the next platform, and then press A to let go and jump to it. So, do you think you get how to do it? You have to swing from platform to platform and try to get to the entrance of that room over there. Here's the problem though, Swabby. The platforms only stay raised for a little while, so if you don't get there by the time they drop, you have to start over. It'll probably take you at least one year before you're good enough to make it all the way here. One rough year, one tough year, full of bumps and bruises. Of course, if you manage to do it faster, I'll reward you. Now give it a try. This ought to be good for good for a chuckle or two. Yeah, if this segment takes a year, then um, this Let's Play is going to last a while. Yeah, it's pretty easy, to be honest. You just got to jump at the ropes, follow the tutorial. I'm pretty sure you can actually skip ahead one. I'm going to try it. You can jump from rope to rope, which is something they don't tell you. Um, jump right here. Don't even have to go to that last platform. I can just swing along this way and jump. Oh god, that was a lot closer than I thought it was. What? You did it already? I, I, I'm I proud to have you as, as, as my underling. I, I wonder if it's okay just to give that to him. I, I don't see why not. I doubt he'll get busted. All right, Swabby, I'll tell you what. You can have the treasure in that chest over there. It's your reward from the great and generous Nico. Hurry and take it before someone comes. Man, this kid is not good at his job. And we get the spoils bag. Kinda like the bait bag, but for holding monster items. Anyway. Hey, Link, we've reached the Forsaken Fortress. Hurry up and get up here. Well, I gotta listen to orders. Otherwise, I'm not going anywhere. Gah, but there's still so much stuff I have to teach you. This is so lame. Ah, well, I guess I can wait until you finish whatever it is you have to do. Yeah, I'll totally be back. I definitely want to come work for pirates that didn't even thank me for saving their leader's life or anything like that. Whatever. No, I didn't. Uh, I didn't need to watch that cutscene. Jeez. All right. Come back around this way. Come on. Hey, hey, Link. Here I am. Up here. Okay. Let's climb that ladder. Uh, I wish this was a later Zelda game so I could just jump up the ladder faster. Come on, you can do it, Link. Climb! Climb faster! What were you doing with Nico? Don't tell me you were playing some stupid game for treasure, were you? Well, whatever. There's something you need to see. Have a look over there. That's the Cursed Isle known as the Forsaken Fortress. Spooky. There are all sorts of strange rumors about this place. What I do know is that long ago it used to be the height of an out of a no good group of pirates you used to compete with. But they were just small time. Now the place looks pretty dangerous. Ah, I knew it. Look over there. By that window. Have you ever seen so many seagulls flock like that before? I'll bet you anything that's the place where they've got your sister locked up. But it looks like the whole place is under really tight guard. This won't work. We'd be spotted before we got anywhere near landing there. Hmm. What do we do now? That's not a good face. That's not. That is a concerning face. How did that even happen without me noticing? Look, don't struggle. If you really want to get into a dangerous place like that, this is the only way to do it. Trust me. We pirates do this all the time. Don't worry about it. It'll be a piece of cake. Is everybody ready? Then never you fear, kids. We're pros. We're going to, to launch you good. Three. 
two, one. Yeah, those are the faces that I usually go through whenever I'm forced to do something I don't want to. Especially if something as dangerous as this. So, not only did we get forced into a barrel without us, without Link noticing, the sword landed all the way up there. Shoot, I'm sorry, I apologize. I guess my aim was a little bit off. Haha, <laughs> look at the look on your face. Priceless. <laughs> I slipped this stone into your pocket just before we fired you over there. It's no ordinary stone either. I can see what you're doing through this stone, and obviously you can hear me through it. So, if you see A, you better press that button. I've seen- I've put the stone on your quest status screen. Use that on the item screen to take a look. It's pretty basic. Hey, but listen carefully. I need this back after you save your sister, so don't go losing it, you understand? Alright then, down to brass tacks. The courtyard is awash with searchlights, so they'll see you right away if you just go charging in. Better think it through. Yeah, so not only were we forced into a barrel without, no without Link noticing, but we also had that slip to one into our pocket at the same time. Link must have just like fallen asleep during that entire process. Anyway, so we have our first dungeon. As you can see, there are these searchlights. Um, if we get caught by them, that's really bad. So what you're supposed to do instead is you can pick up these barrels and you can kind of sneak around. If a spotlight, if a spotlight comes, you can just drop down into the barrel. And I'm going to head up these stairs first. There are lots of ways to go through this dungeon specifically. So if you want to do things differently, uh, that's totally up to you. Be my guest. Um, before we go in there, I'm going to drop this because I don't need it right now. And then come up this way. Uh, I can't get over there yet. But I can get to this one. Listen up, Link. There's a monster running that running the searchlight up there. If you can slay the monster, then just maybe it'll shut down the. S oh my God, I can't read. Oh, but you're unarmed, aren't you? All you have is a shield. If I were you, I'd try to use my shield to deflect the monster's blows and see if I could make it drop its weapon. If you did that, you could pick up its weapon with A. But that's just me. What will you do? Uh, probably that. But there's actually something easier you can do, to be honest. Uh, we'll try her method first, but. So, yeah, the uh, Bokoblin will notice us, the searchlight will go up because he's no longer manning it. Oh, I can't see. Excuse me, please. Uh, come on, hit me. Try and hit me. Do it. Do it. Ah, uh, there's so much waiting. Come on. Oh my god. I just, I want to show this. Oh, there we go. So, he will drop his weapon, and he... Oh, what? Uh, I pressed the wrong button. Okay, well, I got to show that off. Uh, excuse me, camera angle. I need to see, please. Okay, he gave up on us. Oh, my God. No. Let me... Let me... Mm, mm, mm. Right, it's A to swing held weapons. Yeah, so this is another mechanic that Wind Waker introduced. You can pick up enemy weapons and use them... Um, they're very rarely useful, other than right now. Ooh. You got a joy pendant. You can keep it in your spoils bag. These pendants are said to flock to those who spread joy, like butterflies to nectar-filled blossoms. Suddenly, I feel so much worse for killing that Bacoblin. Ugh, he just wanted to spread joy. I don't care, though. I need to get through here and save my sister. Let's see. Um, now, a quick disclaimer... I suck at the Forsaken Fortress. If we look at our map, we can see the exterior of this entire place right now. But, um... Yeah, I am terrible at navigating this place. Let me think. So... 
think if I go through this door, maybe. Yeah, this seems to be the right way, I guess. What happened? Okay. I will... Let's see, if I can... Uh, no, hold on. No, please, Link. Okay. Just want to see what's down there. Trying to do this from memory. Which, if I get extra stuck, I can just, um... Uh... What was I gonna say? If I get extra stuck, I can quickly look something up, but... Uh, well... That's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Okay. Um... No, 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 no. No, 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 this is the wrong way as well. Okay. Those little guys are called mini blins, and they are extremely annoying. They spawn endlessly. They... Even if you kill them, they're super easy to kill, but, like, they will just respawn, they hit you all over the place. I don't have a weapon right now, so I can't fight them. Can't get up there. Okay, where are we right now? Uh... Okay, I guess we're going this way. There's no enemies in here, that's cool. Uh... Is this where I'm looking for? Maybe? Okay, so there is this map right here. I need to go the other way, though. Yeah, I have to go the other way, so I will quickly go that way. Um, I can just roll like this. Speed up, come on, avoid the mini blins. Excuse me, don't mind me. Just sneaking around. Okay, so going off of that spotlight mechanic, there's also these guys, these are Moblins, they are much stronger than Bokoblins, and right now, as we are, if they catch you, we will immediately get caught. They won't try and kill us, but they will throw us in a jail cell. I'll definitely show that off at some point, but, oh, excuse me, I'm, I'm in the bear, I'm in his, okay. Yeah, this... <sighs> Forsaken Fortress- oh my god. Okay. Yeah, Forsaken Fortress as a dungeon is... Mm, it's a cool concept, I'll give it that. Unfortunately, it shows off one of the weak suits of this entire game, which is the pacing. Um, yeah, we just got our sword, we're about to go on a mission to go rescue our sister, we're all ready to go in guns blazing, we got shot out of a catapult. And they took our sword away. It kind of kills any, like... I don't know. I guess, I don't really know what the word for it is, but it really kills, like, the, the mood of it and changes it, like... I don't know. There's no need for there to be a stealth segment in a Zelda game. Especially one like this, where you literally just sit in a barrel. You can't take those swords with you, like, the wooden weapons with you either, those sticks. Link will drop them as soon as he enters a new room. Which, that, I get that's, like, a, like gameplay thing but like come on you couldn't have just like let us keep our sword or something like that i i don't know luckily later in the game this place does get made up for but yeah i'm not a huge fan of it gotta slowly sneak up behind this moblin come on gotta wait for him to sniff i think i okay let me check my map yeah that's the room i'm going for right now just ignore me, please. Okay, I think I'm in the clear. If I come this way... Yes, this is where I was trying to get to. Okay, you can pick up these barrels. We are currently on the first floor, and there's this jail cell right here. Just gotta clear a path through the barrels, and step on the switch. That'll open up this door. And right here we get... Our first piece of heart, like it says, if we get four pieces of heart, we increase our life gauge by one. So, that's all I had to do. We're currently at a dead end. There's those mice, which I don't want to deal with right now. Um, yeah, so this might seem kind of dumb. But actually, the best way to get through here after getting that piece of heart is, um... Hello! Yeah, you just want to get caught here. 
And that'll bring you into the dungeon more. And I think that's a good stopping point. So, next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD, we're going to continue our way through the Forsaken Fortress and hopefully rescue our sister. See you guys then. Oh, what? Okay. Are you planning on spending the rest of your life in there? Look around. I'd be surprised if a rundown cell like that didn't have a hole or two that you could use to worm your way out. And on another another note, that castle has two levels, right? The lower one is crawling with guards, so I'd stick to the higher ground if I were you. Word of the wise. Okay, thanks, Tetra. Thanks. Thanks. I really needed that.